Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair channel. And so today I just wanted to discuss about uh, some issues that I've been ha having in the last uh, few years or so uh, about bad aftermarket uh, ignition coils. Now specifically these ignition coils over here are by uh, BWD or SMP standard motor it's the same company and so uh, in recent times uh, I decided to replace all four ignition coils as maintenance on my personal car which is a 2010 Toyota Corolla so I decided to replace uh, all of the ignition coils as maintenance or as in uh, and what they'll call an upgrade. Uh, I do this because it's not really an upgrade. I say upgrade as a joke. So it's not really an upgrade. You you think you think you're doing yourself a favor, but you're not really. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, I would only recommend replacing ignition coils uh, only if there's a problem with it. I would not replace them as maintenance unless the th 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 there is some kind of issue so otherwise uh it's best to leave the ignition coils alone so anyhow uh roughly around november of 2021 i replaced the spark plugs uh, uh, in my toyota vehicle and that was th three years ago so i replaced the spark plugs and all four ignition coils as a maintenance item. Each year I would have a, a, a misfire, a dead uh, misfire in one of the cylinders and it turned out to be a, a faulty coil. So the, the parts store that I went to, they have a three year replacement warranty. So you just bring in the old part, they'll give you an exchange. This one here, I just recently uh, exchanged it for a new part but I did not put this in the vehicle I just I put back the old Toyota Denso uh, coil back and so because I, I I don't want any more problems and every single year from 2021 then 2022 2023 2024 every single year uh, I had a, a dead misfire and it would happen around the same time in which I purchased the ignition coils, October, uh, November time. I would have, uh, like, I, I would be driving. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm considered very lucky, by the way, because uh, it didn't happen on the highway. I would either be driving in the city at 50 or 60 kilometers an hour. I hit the gas pedal. The car would be, like, shaking like this. It would not, like, want to accelerate until there's a misfire and then I could h hardly drive the car anymore because I'm only driving the, this vehicle has only four cylinders so you can't really drive a vehicle very well on on three out of the four cylinders so anyhow so it would happen while I'm driving or it'd be when I start the car up on startup on the driveway or in the parking lot and then there would be a misfire so that has happened to me roughly, I think, around three or four times now. And each of those times, I had to get the ignition coils replaced under warranty. And, and now I think I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time now. I probably have like a week left, according to the invoice, uh, because there's only three years uh, replacement warranty on this. I can't. I can't uh, return the part to get my money back. So my advice is to use the the OEM ignition coils to avoid any future problems. Now, uh, in some cases, uh, if you're in a pinch and you're and you're in a hurry, you want to get the the vehicle uh, back on the road as quickly as possible, and you don't have the time to go to the dealer or something then it's okay to use these parts, but uh, you may need to be replacing them again shortly, maybe in a year or so. Now, for these specific uh, 
ignition coils, the BWD SMP ignition coils. Uh, for some of them, I've had some good luck uh, with those. But uh, <laughs> lately, in the last few years, I've had too many problems with them and they just they don't last very long at all. Now, I've, I've used some other aftermarket ignition coils in the past and I haven't really seen too many issues with them. But these specific ones, I've had too many problems now, especially and particularly on the Toyota vehicles. I just, I've had way too many problems. And uh, specifically speaking, uh, we have a, a 2010 Corolla and a 2005 Corolla, which is the, the family car. And uh, I've seen in some cases where the, where the, uh, the same similar ignition coil uh, th there was a crack that was uh, like running through the body of the coil causing an intermittent misfire so i just had way too many problems with these so uh, it's a, a lessons learned i i think it's it's best to just get the one from the dealer the the denso original ignition coils uh, and also, you can also get them from uh, from Rock Auto online, I believe, uh, Denso. I'm not sure if they are available s somewhere else at the parts stores for the original Denso brand. Just uh, be very careful from the, the counterfeit parts, like if you buy from Amazon or somewhere online, and, and then you have to watch out because there's a lot of, uh, of counterfeits circulating around now so in my past I haven't had like too many problems with aftermarket parts just every here and there but uh, in recent times it seems like the aftermarket world of parts uh, is getting worse and worse and the quality control is not uh, is not really there so I'm, I'm starting to lose faith in some of the aftermarket parts uh, although uh, other parts that i've used and haven't had really issues with them i will continue to be using those but i just wanted to bring this up uh, to 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 you guys uh, to your attention about the this uh, issue that i've been having so just watch out for that because uh the the problem here is that when you have a a customer and you want to fix a an ignition coil related <laughs> misfire on their car you don't want the customer to come back and have and and then ha have problems right so it's going to cause a lot of issues and a loss of time and a loss of uh, a productivity in the shop or if you're doing like the like mobile work or something so you're going to lose time, right? And you have to reschedule uh, appointment time with the customer to fix this issue. So just watch out for that. It's just, it's one of those things. Um, you just have to be careful. There's just, just way too many aftermarket garbage these days. So uh, sometimes if I'm really in doubt and especially in particular for electronic and s s sensitive engine components. I just like to use the OAM dealer stuff just to be on the safe side. I don't really want to take a, a, a big risk in, in, in damaging the customer's car or if, if, if something were to happen, right? Because that, that's going to be a, a liability after that. So yeah, in some cases, uh, you might run or be in a situation where you can't really get parts. Let's say it's a long weekend, all the shops are closed, and the customer is very desperate to get back on the road or something. And let's say that there's are there are parts availability for aftermarket ignition coils, and the parts store is is open, and then you're desperate, and then and then by all means you can use those parts but j just be careful you may need to replace them sooner or later now in some cases you may get lucky 
and the part may last for a few years or or even longer just to, don't expect the part to last as long as the the OEM or dealer part so that's it for this one if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful uh, please don't forget to give this one a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a, a subscriber and please don't forget to hit that bell notification if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day and take care